Sorry, ATM, they're all 20s. 20, 20, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 60, 80, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 20, 40, 60. Bloggy flips. All right, guys, so today we have what I hope is a fun little pick planned. If you've been with this channel for very long, then uh, you'll know that I have a deep appreciation for all things vintage, uh, cool things from decades past. However, I don't personally collect very many things. But over the last like six or eight months, I have tried to kind of start rebuilding my childhood uh, Masters of the Universe collection. It was a toy line that I loved as a kid. I had pretty much everything. It got lost along the way, and I would... I would just kind of love to have it back. So so that's kind of where I am as a collector. So I belong to this vintage toy group on Facebook. It's called Hilltop Toys. And it turns out that the uh, creator of that group is pretty local to me. And he uh, posted up a lot of like 23 figures, I think, all in, all in pretty average condition. Uh, and it seemed like a pretty good deal. I uh, shot him a message and asked if he offered local pickup. We kind of chatted back and forth a little bit and uh, turns out that he watches my videos and he said that if I wanted to, I could bring some extra cash and uh, look around because he has more than he can handle right now. So that sounds pretty good. I figure worst case scenario, I end up with some cool vintage He-Man action figures uh, and possibly a new friend and contact. It, it could turn into a lot more, we'll see, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me. He said he didn't mind. We'll see what we can make happen. All right, guys, let's go. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, man, you too. Anthony. Lucas, nice to meet you. Lucas, nice to meet you. Let the dog out here. You can meet her too. Okay. Come on. I'm not here to kill you. Hi. Hi, Lucy. Hi. Good girl, Lucy. Hi. Hi. She's good. She just has to know you. Looks like a good old girl. Oh, so what's new, man? Oh, not much. Just trying to buy. Buy, buy, buy. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> Are you a yard sailor? Yeah. So you I do? learned a lot from you, dude. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know how long you've been doing this, but uh, I've had it since like 19 and learning kind of as that goes. Yeah. Uh, I'm still pretty new when it comes to that. But. I've seen some of the stuff that you post up, so uh, you know you find some good stuff. It looks like I uh, I specialize in toys, right? But I've expanded to buy more stuff just to keep listings, honestly, because yeah. you can't really survive just off toys, right? The market the way it is. So I've had to do. I mean, I buy anything from clothes to. I mean, all the stuff you get, man, is yeah, is, is good stuff. I watch you because you're local, and <laughs> we only have certain stuff around right. you can really get. So yeah, toys are definitely the most fun, though. That's... Yeah, man, that's what got me into yeah. it initially. So. And I just picked up a couple of huge loads of toys, so that's awesome. I'm out of room, and uh, <laughs> uh, I've got on the floor and all kinds of stuff. So that's cool. Feel free to dig, man. Everything is for sale. Obviously, my tools and stuff, I'll stay. But okay, I've got it set up kind of like uh, <laughs> organized chaos. The stuff over here on these two shelves against the wall are listed. Okay. Some of the stuff on these two shelves are listed. Okay. But it's all for sale. I just. If you want something that's listed, I'll just pull it and make sure I don't sure. miss it on eBay, that kind of thing. But okay. it's all fair game, dude. This is uh, this was extra stuff that we could do in the shed. That's all fair game. Uh, upstairs, they're sporting good stuff. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm pretty much full, so. Wow. Um, awesome. Your Motu's over here, and I've got a boatload more Motu if you want to look at that, too. I saw you trying. That's the collection. stuff that I just buy for myself, right? Correct, yeah. Man, I just got all this. Man, so. Yeah. I've seen some of that posted. That's amazing. <laughs> it was a large collection in Cincinnati I had to pick up so oh really yeah uh -huh. the reason I got it I don't know if you know about the attorney and play set but that's like one of the big grails in Motu right uh, super expensive hard to find had a lot of parts with it so I, I kind of jumped on that one just to get the awesome. extra stuff so like the stuff I'm buying was that part of this collection too correct that was just like the beater figures or whatever it was the unex yeah like no I wouldn't say beaters but yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you're right beaters uh, a lot of stuff that wasn't complete and I've got not only that stuff, I mean, I've got wow. Motu, 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 Mask. I mean, I've got Joe's, I've got Star Wars, I've got, here's your stuff. And if you want to add to it, you can. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you I've got Castle Grayskull stuff. I mean, I've got any kind of vintage toy line I've got, pretty much, that's you definitely popular. Find it. That's amazing. Ghostbusters, uh, Secret Wars. I'm just uh, in awe right now. I yeah, just... that's my... Yeah, I mean, you get a pick a picker. That's pretty fun. <laughs> right. I mean, I, I don't, I don't do this for everybody. So, 
I that's appreciate electronics it. over there, games, Legos okay. on top. Um, I've got, I thought of you when I started looking through my game systems. I've got probably five or six oh, okay. sets of games, uh, Wii's, Playstations, lots of Guitar Hero stuff. Okay. Um, this table is primarily clothes. I'm surprised I didn't see you at this sale, the one in Knightstown. Um, it was a, basically a time capsule house. Oh, really? The lady had nothing but clothes. Um, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know how you missed that one if you did, but... I've got, this is clothes, clothes, there's like five boxes in there, literally all 70s. Oh, wow. Um, got a pair of orange tab Levi's in there. Nice. A bunch of brand new bell bottoms with tags. That's crazy. It's all real vintage stuff, so. <laughs> bell bottoms with tags. That's Correct. Awesome. Yeah, this lady had, a lot, a lot of it's kids clothes, uh -huh. so I don't know if there's a market for that necessarily, but there's some adult stuff, it's just really small right. sizes. Man, I mean, you could probably spend a couple hours here and <laughs> not see it all, so. Yeah, well. I'm trying to take up too much of your time. I yeah, got stuff good. to do. So uh, I've got till 11, probably 15. So okay, cool. Yeah, all the time you need. This is what I do, so I don't have a job to go to or anything. <laughs> Isn't that nice? All right, well, I'll look around and then yeah, man. Um, just make a little pile or something. Or like, like, yeah, okay. I can clear some space out front and grab a box. Okay. You want to do? Okay. Um, Sounds some Star Wars stuff and the Mo2 is going to be a little bit more money, but right. most anything else is going to be reasonable. Okay. If you make a decent pile or so. Sounds good. All right. If you like golf clubs? That's one thing I don't know about. It's I mean, they're everywhere. I, I didn't used to buy them, but I'm a golfer. And yeah. There's a big, I, I see the market for them. And they really I see it too, sell yeah. quick. Mm -hmm. um, I used to work at a pawn shop, and that was like the worst thing to buy. So I just really? never, I just never. Well, what you, how did you get into that? I, I'm curious to know your story and stuff. Uh, buying guitars when I was younger okay. and wanting a better guitar. And then I realized that I could buy something locally and sell it on eBay. And, just get and, a freebie. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. You know, like buy an Epiphone, sell it, mm -hmm. get a gibson next time or uh -huh. something and I see then you play and stuff right yeah yeah that's cool not as much anymore but i used to be in a band for a minute was, oh really yeah i'm a big music guy but no instruments i did some singing but got golf clubs upstairs there's also like bats and mitts and, oh, okay i mean you can take a look if you want it's up to you it's kind of a mess but <laughs> looks not, like the good stuff's not, down not here not, this is organized <laughs> yeah. uh, this is perfect so, all right so stuff, yeah, everything on this table is for a fair game also okay a jurassic park stuff i've got wow. tvs electronics uh, that is, what's my toad over there? Cabbage Patch. Oh, okay. And this is all vintage Star Wars I just picked up. That's awesome. This Imperial Shuttle that just sold. Dang. That's a hard piece to find there. I see that box. Man, yeah, you find it. That's amazing. You gotta pay for it, man. I mean, I oh, don't pay. Oh, yeah, I, I know. I, I, wish, I wish it was garage sale prices, and I I just, you don't stumble across it. There's too many people mm -hmm. aware of it. Um, Absolutely. All the stuff on the floor is fair game. Okay. Also, if you want some cheap Motu, that's my broken Motu box. Oh, okay. That literally goes in garage. So you can have that for next to nothing. That everything in there's got issues. Yeah. So, go ahead and pull that out then. Cheap collection stuff. There you go. That's awesome. Two out of the Chesterfield store last week. Uh -huh. They comp for anywhere from 200 to 800 bucks a piece. Oh wow! They're just random truck stop shirts with different like cities on the back. Oh yeah. They must, they must have like a collectible following because for a buck a piece, man, I'll kill on those. Jeez, that's awesome. Yeah, I pulled out like 30 shirts. They're all single stitch, all everything good. Have you sold any of them yet? Yeah. The yeah. Two, yeah. The truckers only went uh, immediately. Wow. That's cool stuff. I don't have much luck on records like you, man. Uh, I don't know where we're going to mine a lot of those. These, like, stuff, these are all fair game. These are the antique booth. Just saves me on these. Yeah. They really sell, huh? Oh, yeah. That's... I thought about doing that, man. I just didn't know if it was worth the time. If I could uh, only have an antique booth with, like, uh, vintage records, it would be a gold mine. You make it, huh? Yeah. I just can't find them. No kidding. Yeah, those man, are cool. I... All this stuff is up for grabs, you said? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, for sure. This right here? That's all wrestling. Oh, is it really? Interesting stuff, yeah. Uh, I do like wrestling too. It's all hardbacks. So I've got a ring that's vintage WCW ring. Oh, this is cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The room is what I've been seeing at this point. I never thought this building would be too small. But <laughs> it fills up fast. Yeah. It really does. You bring home two boxes a week. <laughs> This is G1 Transformers. Oh, yeah. Good lord, man. You said those are Transformers? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is this stuff that you want to sell off one by one too? Um, I mean, if, um, I mean, I'll sell the whole thing, but it'll be a little bit. Yeah. Especially the accessories and stuff. Sure. The vehicles, not so much. But the accessories, definitely. But I mean, I'll, it, it's still okay. Right. Sure. I'll put them aside and I'll listen to your price on it. I mean, yeah. What's the worst that could happen, right? But if you need more Motu, there's good, I'll give you a good deal on these figures. I've got all the comics. Oh, that's cool. There's a stack of card backs if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, that's really neat too. Um, I don't get these every day, so it's nice to have big stacks of those. These are the expensive ones. These are, these are cheap. And then these are a little bit more, but they're not okay. super expensive either. And that's a Fright Zone, Snake Mountain, Castle Grey Skull. These are really cool. All right, can we see where we're at so far? And then we'll. Yeah, man. So I have those, the stuff here, the wrestlers, and that stuff that you were just showing me. Plus. Plus. That. Uh, over from this box here. <laughs> over and from it, like not this. Not that, so, so this and that. Plus uh, my box here. Okay. Oh, let's see. Four to blow two. <clears throat> this. Six. Six. For everything? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. Thank yeah, man, you. It's all good stuff. You should make some money on that. Well, if I can sell it. <laughs> Probably keeping a lot of it. That's your lot. Okay. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, man. That's awesome. And that's all good, too? So. Yeah. Yeah. I, I charged you the 200. Okay. Point. I didn't really break anything down on that. So. I appreciate it, man. That's I awesome. Need more stuff, and we'll get your Motu hooked up. 40, Sorry, ATM. They're all 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 60, 80, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 20, 40, 60, 80, 6. Sweet, buddy. I really appreciate that, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Glad to do it, man. People, you, like, you come by, it's, it just accumulates. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, don't mind selling it. No, it's just... These poor wrestlers just sat here and we're being ignored too. So. That's one thing I, that was one of my 
the serves early on was the ability to find stuff doing this. And there's no shit to do that out there. Yes. If you want some tapes, take them, man. Free. No, this looks cool. What about that guy? Sorry. Oh, no, no. I want to buy it from you. I mean, dollar. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, let me do 20 on the VHS plus that guy. Okay. Cool? Alright. You gotta throw your fairness thing in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be, be. You're smart, man. <laughs> I think there's something to be said for cash deals, too. Right. <laughs> Make me look as good as you can. <laughs> All right, man. You too. Thank you so much. Hell, man. I appreciate that yeah, a lot. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Take it easy, buddy. All right, guys. All right, guys. So we made it back to the garage, and obviously I'm in heaven right now. Lucas, what a cool guy. Thank you so much for letting me come out, look around at all your awesome stuff, and for selling me a pretty sizable chunk for what I think is a fantastic deal. I am super excited about the stuff I got. If any of you are fans of vintage toys, I will link his Facebook group down below, Hilltop Toys. Uh, make sure you check it out. I will also link his eBay page in case you just want to kind of look around at some of the really cool stuff he has listed. Now, obviously, I would have just loved to have bought everything there, but it doesn't really work that way. Just like the rest of us, he definitely had excess, so I just kind of let him guide me to, to uh, stuff that he wasn't really attached to that uh, he might not get around to for a while, and I think it worked out really well. So I've not really had a chance to process a lot of this stuff, but uh, real quick, let me just kind of show you some of it and I'll put up some comps and everything and we'll go from there. So from a monetary standpoint, my only real goal was to maybe try to get enough stuff to resell to make the stuff that I want to keep for collecting uh, basically free if I put in a little work. And I think what we have on the table here will pretty much get most of the money back, if not all of it. If I want to wait for like high end of comps, uh, it may not be super quick, but... Most of it will be pretty easy, so I'm okay with that. Uh, one thing we have here is this old Nintendo two drawer storage case. Um, it's an actual Nintendo brand. I think this sells for like 75 to 100 bucks on eBay all the time, so uh, that's pretty nice right there. Then we got a big stack of records here. I've not really comped any of them out. I doubt that any of these are really uh, suitable for selling online, but these are great for the antique booth. I'm thinking that most of these will sell in my booth for between like five and 10 bucks a piece. And I've said it before, records just kind of fly off the shelf in there. Um, I know that some of you like records as much as I do, so I'll quickly try to show you the titles here. There's like 29 or 30 of them. So we have Nazareth, REO Speedwagon, Kansas, Foreigner, Journey, another Foreigner, Fleetwood Mac. This is a Doors record with no sleeve. Plastic Ono Band, Ben Lizzie, Ted Nugent, another Nazareth, another Ted Nugent, The Birds, Super Tramp, Simple Minds, Jefferson Starship, Leonard Skinner, Johnny Cash, Blue Oyster Colt, and there's another Blue Oyster Colt. Fog Hat, BTO, Willie Nelson, Iron Butterfly, Journey, Peter, Paul, and Mary, Three Dog Night, Alabama, Kenny Rogers, and Imus. Now those last three or four, those will probably sell for a little bit less, but all in all, that's a really solid stack of records. And then we have all these fishing reels here. A lot of them still have the original boxes, which when it comes to vintage fishing reels, original boxes definitely help. Like uh, one or two of these are also in pretty much new old stock condition. So this first one is a pin long beach, pretty decent condition with the original box. This one is a pin spin fisher 704. I think they call that the greenie. It's an okay condition, but it also has the original box, so it should do pretty well. Then we have a Shakespeare 2062 NL. This one's in very nice condition. There's a Shakespeare 1946 M. This one, I believe, is in new old stock condition. This one is not the original box, but still a very nice reel. It's an Ocean City 1950 W. This one, no original box. It is a pin monofill number 25. I'll put some comps up for that one. And I think what might be the best one is this pin pier 109. Not new old stock, but very good condition. Um, I think I did see comps on this one for as high as like 179. Now, obviously I'm gonna put the high end of comps up. Fishing reels can vary greatly. I don't mind sitting on them for a while and waiting for the right buyer, even if it's next spring. They honestly don't take up that much room. Then these are a couple Lafayette uh, dynamic tape recorder microphones. I think they're new old stock. Uh, Lafayette's a pretty decent brand when it comes to these old microphones, so those should do pretty well. There's two of those. And then we have a Boss RC20XL loop station pedal. It's for a guitar, so you can kind of loop what you're playing and then play over it. 
pretty cool little pedals. I always wanted one back when I played in a band. But I think these do sell used for between like 100 and 150 bucks. So like I said, between all this stuff, I think we're pretty close to getting the money back. Um, even if it's not right away, that's fine. Some of the miscellaneous odds and ends. I thought these two plushies, these um, Sesame Street vintage plushies were really cool. Snuffleupagus and Big Bird. And then he pointed these old uh, toy guidebooks out to me. I thought they were really neat. There's an action figures from the 80s. Uh, there's a couple Star Wars ones in here. And then I think the ones that have the most value are these ones about like Hot Wheels red lines. I'm actually not going to sell any, any of these because they're actually really good reference points. And they are definitely really cool. There's an old Hamburglar plush. I think that's probably from the 70s. And then these old Ben Cooper type Halloween costumes in mass. Most of the time they're not worth a lot of money, but I can't resist buying them because I think they're so cool. This one's even glow in the dark. So definitely grab those. You got a bunch of VHS tapes there at the end. Not a, not a lot that sell great on their own, but there is like some really cool 80s stuff in here like Robocop uh, and some 90s stuff like Scream. Bunch more down here. This one's probably the best one right here. It's a sealed copy of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. It's got the Paramount watermarks on the plastics i don't believe it to be a reseal so this one should do pretty well on its own michael jackson's moonwalker not new obviously and then a stephen king book because i cannot resist stephen king books i always buy them when i see them as long as they're hardcover here we're getting into some of the toys that it didn't seem like he had a huge connection with so um, i figured they were safe to try to buy all these wrestling figures there's a ton of them in here some are definitely older than others. I've not really comped any of these out yet. But there's a lot of Hulk Hogan's and these bigger figures. I saw like some Macho Man's in there. The Rock and Steve Austin. I think these are a little older in here. There's some older ones as well, I believe. So uh, these will be kind of fun to do some research on and see what I can learn. These are really cool in here. This is old Transformer stuff. And I think most of them are like G1. So they're definitely old. They're definitely cool. Uh, some of them... Are probably for parts i don't know i've not really gone through all of them yet um i did see some other stuff like go bots in here i think that's a go bot right there definitely some cool stuff down in here some cool cool old 80s transformers try to pull out a few and show some of them to you that i think might be some of the better ones it's a pretty deep little tote a bunch of the comics and inserts are in here some old nintendo posters were in this box as well there were a few of those all folded up so those will look nice in a frame for somebody i'm personally not much of a nintendo collector so uh we'll see what ends up happening with those super excited to go through these and see what we have and then there's a lot of accessories in this box i think you said a lot of these are g1 too uh, just like different guns and, and parts and stuff so very neat i'm very excited to see what we have here this is the kind of stuff that's really cool to go through in the winter time uh, when you have a little more time on your hands. And then we have all of this amazing Masters of the Universe stuff. After searching for so long and, and so hard, I finally have what I would consider a really strong start to a collection. This is the box that I actually went there to buy. It was all these figures right here. There's a few accessories. These are all decent condition figures, but there's like 23 or 25 plus the Battle Cat plus the Stridor. Definitely a very solid box, but he did start showing me some other stuff, uh, and I went ahead and grabbed all that too. Um, he had some really high-end figures and buildings, so obviously that was the stuff that he could easily get top dollar for, so there was no reason to try to buy that. As far as the average condition stuff goes, and like this is kind of a parts lot down here, a lot of things are missing parts, but it's nice to have these extras. Figures aren't in bad condition or anything, uh, not a lot of accessories some leg damage and stuff like that. Some of these will be doubles of the figures I bought in the other two lots, but some of these I don't have in either of those lots and they're in good enough condition to display, I think. And then I think that this box would be more of the uh, better condition figures like with some accessories, but still not his really high end stuff. So this was still pretty safe to buy too. But as far as what I now own, this box will probably be the cream of the crop right here. Everything's in really good condition, pretty close to complete, I think. Uh, some of them might be missing like one accessory or something, but that's a lot better than nothing. There's a Modulock. Uh, looks like it's complete. There's a pretty nice Prince Adam with his sword. My favorite character ever, Orko. Looks like he has most of his magic trick. There's a Man at Arms. Very cool, very excited to have all this stuff. So I'll go through all this stuff, kind of see what I have doubles of. Probably make a parts box so I have some extra parts on hand. In case I'm ever lucky enough to find, you know, like a big Motu set or something. It definitely kind of affords me the ability now to be a little more picky about the stuff I'm looking for and the stuff I'm buying as far as my personal collection goes. So definitely excited about all this. And then these are very cool too. I will definitely display this on my shelf. This old Masters of the Universe uh, carrying case right here. Pretty good shape. 
graphics are amazing on it. And then all these vintage card backs, there's like a ton of these. So that's really neat to see. A lot of them are in pretty good condition as far as the graphics go. Some of them have some rips in them, but I'm sure I can do something with these. So there's quite a few of those. And then we have a bunch of the old comics from the action figures themselves. I think there's a couple posters in here as well. I'll probably frame that up, that's really nice. So super stoked about this deal. Lucas, thank you again so much. Like I said, I will link his Facebook group in the description. Make, make sure you check it out if you're into vintage toys. Check out his eBay store. Definitely show him some love and hopefully I can get back there soon to uh, take another look around. But that's all I got for you this time, guys. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap.